comfortable. Yeah, that's the fucking point. I'm supposed to get angry like this. Because they're telling me that a disease is inevitable by the time that I played and by my weight, by my position, by my age. In our society, the findings get out in front of the actual science. You might have a theory, an unproven theory, hypothesis. People pick that up and then they, they go with it. CTE is suspect. We need to see much more in the way of science about this than we've seen so far. I mean, I, how do you want to do this? You want me to tell you the story of concussion? Let me just take you back to probably the early 1980s. The definition of concussion was up for grabs. As I learned in med school, in order to be concussed, as we were taught, you had to lose consciousness. And we found out that was, that was just not part of the picture. So, Instead of a loss of consciousness, we used amnesia. That was one of the more profound presenting signs. We presented this nationally and we began to get interest. All of a sudden, concussion was an important thing. And even the coaches began to realize that there was something else to this. You have to understand that the NFL just turned a deaf ear to this for years and years. I think one of the reasons why it turned was not so much because we were yelling about it, but because of the litigation potential. Uh, everybody was coming out with their own ways to treat concussions, how to treat them. A lot of it jumped ahead of the research. And suddenly, it went from a medical problem to something where people were selling stuff. They were selling ways to diagnose concussion. They were selling ways to treat concussion, the cognitive behavior tests. People were advocating the use of drugs, the same drugs that were used for Alzheimer's. They're still selling something. They're still selling something. The people in Boston sat there and sliced these brains up, and they find all this tall protein in them, and they say, aha, that's, that's the problem, is the tall protein. But what they haven't done well, if at all, is to take a look at people who haven't been athletes and take a look at their brains. There are 50-year-olds who are walking around with just as much top protein who never smelled a football field or any other type of activity uh, as there are football players walking around. Top protein is a deposit based upon aging. I probably have more top protein than you guys do, but the the point is, how, how does it manifest? And is that the cause of situations? All right. Well, thank you again. I'm about to, to reach out to All right. Chris Giza. All right, we'll see you. You gonna grab that mic from him? You wish he'd take that on too. The oversimplification using CTE as the term that people use to mean anything bad that happens to somebody later in life 
It was an attempt to bring awareness from the dark ages to everybody needs to be aware of stuff, but brains are complex and oversimplifying anything in neurology has risks and the risks are, are misdiagnoses. It's hurting not just former NFL players, not just former military, but it's also the youth. It's everybody. It's an auto worker at the Rouge plant in Dearborn, Michigan, who I see who had an accident and now he thinks he's got CTE, right? I am infuriated when patients come to me with a diagnosis of CTE because the implication for that patient is I have nothing left to offer you and you don't have any hope. We're kind of put in this hard place where your dad is ready to be medically released, but where he goes from here, we have our hands tied behind our back. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm, okay now. I'm here to pick up my father. We have patients every day who are either depressed or sometimes actively suicidal because of persistent post-concussive symptoms. And yet after we do a formal workup, and particularly after we initiate treatment, they don't turn out to have a neurodegenerative disease. And in fact, most of them get better when we initiate that proper treatment. If I were a former NFL player, I would probably be convinced I have CTE because the clinical signs of uh, depressed middle-aged men are very similar to uh, the clinical signs described in traumatic encephalopathy syndrome. In fact, you can't separate that. You ready to come across the street? I saw how easy it could have been for me to sit there and say, the reason I'm angry, the reason I'm irritable, is because of CTE. You can see what happens when you imprint the idea of CTE in the mind of the neuropathologist. They start seeing it. The CTE really exists more in the mind of the neuropathologist than it does in the brain of the actual athlete. I figured uh, we can just try to get you that apartment for about a month until you figure out what you want to do. What we have been told over the years is that there is nothing. My argument is that it's the opposite. You need to change the discourse to say, look, we are responsible for our future. We are responsible for taking good care of our brains. And there's a tremendous amount that can be done. All we can say for certain from a neurology perspective is that higher levels of education protect against Alzheimer's or dementia. So there must be something that we have in terms of neuroplasticity, something that we earn when we're learning and when we're learning as adults. It's the brain that keeps everything together. The brain is so powerful that it'll tell your body what to do. Is everyone gonna get CTE? No. I have a strong, strong belief it's not happening to me because I'm gonna stay healthy. Yeah. I'm gonna do the things I can do to protect myself from any kind of disease. What's that? Lifestyle, diet, exercise. These are ways you do to protect your body from any kind of disease. The Miami Dolphins select Jared Adrick. Defensive tackle, Michigan State. Boy, he's been all over the place. He is just dominating that. Former Lebanon High and Penn State star Jared Adrick's name. Town could be proud of. You've seen this story. Natural arc of the athlete. Antonio Brown, without his uniform, we are told, 
without his jersey. All right, Jen Hale, get after that. We got to find out what's going on there. Why do you believe you have CTE? get light headaches every now and again and my anxiety levels is off the charts. Sometimes I can't be in places certain long so I have to retreat back to my own place because the anxiety makes my heart beat, beat faster. But you've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder so why not attribute these feelings to that? Media has made it a football thing. Science is showing that it is much more than just a football thing. Combat veteran Shane Garcia understands that dark side. The fogginess of his brain, his deep depressions, or the anger that can erupt from nowhere. The CTE shit, right? They're like yes. Antonio Brown because he got fucking zapped in the head by perfect. He's yes. lost his fucking yes. mind. He's fucking nuts. He's yes. crazy. His brain's fucking dead. That's why he reacted like that. A lot of t a lot of people talk about that wild card game with uh, Cincinnati Bengals. You remember the game where you got hit and and everybody seen that clip. It's uncomfortable to watch that clip. It's not easy for me to. I watched it earlier today. Uh, Vontez and, perfect. Yeah, we right? can't forget. But that's that what scene. I'm saying. Like you guys, you guys pick a point in the career that you guys think you could focus on the target or try to say that I'm. So you trying to say I'm diagnosed with CTE from a hit? Like I don't. People understand. are saying that. I thought CTE wasn't detectable in living humans until I saw this clip. And while everyone is talking Chronic, about his teammates' traumatic, reactions, the good news is that he didn't suffer any brain damage because the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back story. injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor just announced he only had a back injury. Killing the Dolphins team doctor we live in a world in which we have so much power. In the old days, you could fire a, pull a trigger on a revolver and hurt people. <clears throat> but today, when you trigger these vast media that we use, you are manipulating entire populations.